Expression artists on the stage performing for us. Ah, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Love those guys. Love those guys. Fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I got a really big show for you today. Really big show for you today. Let's talk about Bernie the Slave Driver. You heard? <laughs> Fucking Bernie Sanders of all people, right? He got busted. Uh, where am I? He got busted uh, pay- underpaying his workers. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right? Because Bernie Sanders was parading around fifteen dollar minimum wage. We'll talk about that. Uh, Ber- uh, Epstein's accomplices, the Max Maxell lady, whatever. I'll talk. We'll talk about that. Plus, uh, New Yorker has published uh, the list of all his his black book list, all of his acquaintances. We'll talk about that. Uma Abedin got her wiener back. Anthony Weiner released from jail, back in the house. Oh shit. And a couple of Jews, more Jews, crying anti-Semitism in the UK. Holy shit. The fucking Jews, man. So let's start, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's start here. Let's start with uh, the Epstein, right? So Gils, Gilslin, Gilslin? I, I don't know if I got the name right. Gelslin Maxwell brought Bill Clinton to Jeffrey Epstein, report says. right? So this woman's going to become... I know I'm a little late to this, and people pointed it out to me. How come you don't talk about Maxwell? Well, I'm talking about it now. So she is the alleged wife, <laughs> whatever that means, of Epstein or, or a very close girlfriend or acquaintance or best friend or whatever, right? It's a fucking, she's pimping out. She's responsible for, for rounding up hookers. Round, not hookers. I take that back, all right? I take it back rounding up children into slavery so that Epstein can do his dirty deed on them and then uh, uh, allegedly exploit them to other billionaires, which we will find out. So this woman is very, uh, is very uh, prominent in the case right now. Why isn't she indicted? Why, did, why aren't they haven't... Uh, she may just be indicted for, you know, uh, racketeering or, uh, or solicit, soliciting prostitution or, or even worse, uh, child, child, uh, child, uh, child trafficking. Right? Where, where's the uh, where's the crime? Where are the charges alleged at her? So, more more interestingly, there's a tie to Bill Clinton. Now, this is again guilt by association. I'm not really into it. Right? Bill Clinton, his connection <clears throat> to Jeffrey Epstein came through her. Well, every every connection that we make in life comes through somebody else. Right? That's just the sad reality, right? You meet somebody and somebody introduces you to somebody else and that's how that's that's called schmoozing. That's that's so I'm not I'm not really convinced that that's a a, a big a big deal. Nonetheless, Bill Clinton did meet Jeffrey Epstein and was on his plane 26 times. And I bet this woman, I bet my bet my last dollar, the dollar that I don't even have that Gals, Gals, Galslin, Galslin Maxwell knows all about Bill Clinton and the dirty deeds that he did on that plane and at the Lolita Island. So this is kind of a breaking story. Um, we shall see. So other, other Jeffrey Epstein stuff is the New Yorker, I believe this is. New York New Yorker is publishing a list of 
of all of Jeffrey Epstein's contacts, all this, all the rich, uh, the, the sh- look at this, look at this, look at this house he lives in. He lives in, in the lap of luxury, you know, high, high ceilings and, and oak doors and, you know, probably fucking, you know, real fur, like dead animals on the, on the chairs. Uh, this guy's crazy, man. So the cesspool of elites, man, this is New York, the New Yorker or intelligencer, whatever that is. The cesspool of elites, many of them in New York, who allow Jeffrey Epstein to flourish with impunity for decades. Important, influential, serious people attended Epstein's dinner parties, rode his private jet, and furthered the fiction that he was some kind of genius hedge fund billionaire. Hmm, interesting. How do, you, how do we explain why they looked the other way or flattered Epstein? Even as they must have noticed, he was often in company of a young harem. Easy. They got something in exchange f- from him. Whether it was a free ride on the airborne Lolita Express, some other form of monetary uh, exchange, entree into the extravagant celebrity soror he hosted at his townhouse, or possibly and harrowingly a pound or two of, of female flesh. Well, what about the blackmail? It doesn't talk about the blackmail. So we're, I'm not really on the, on the page with that. Um, but yeah, there is, there's a lot, of, a lot of people, and here's the people, you know, contacts from A to Z. There's a lot of them. Of course, Woody Allen, he lives around the corner. And it's just like, it reads like a laundry list. Prince, uh, Prince Andrew, you got fucking all these people, man. You got that Alec Baldwin, Steve Bannon, <laughs> Donald Barr. These are just the bees. Tom Barrick, Sandy Barrick, Bill Berkman, all these people, all rich and influential movers and shakers, right? It's tons of them. Right? So Bill Clinton's definitely on the list. Uh, so that's just a list. I mean, you know, scouring through the name again. And I, I'm telling you, I, I've been to these parties. As a caterer, I've been to hundreds of these parties. Hundreds. Literally stood in these parties hundreds of gatherings of billionaires and millionaires. I might quite possibly have been at a party with, or two or three or five with Jeffrey Epstein, because again, all of the, all of the, the elites, like for example, the big one at uh, the Met, Met, uh, the Met um, Museum, the Met uh, Gala Ball, right? Every year, that's the one with all the cameras flashing outside, the, the extravagant costumes. I've been at, I was there four times. I, I was inside four times when, and the uh, Robin Hood Foundation. I saw the Who play. I mean, I saw Stevie Wonder on the stage. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just telling you that at these parties, you could be seated with celebrities. Celebrities want to be seen with other celebrities. That is just the fact. So guilt by association, when you hear, oh, Jeffrey Epstein was at a party with Donald Trump or... Jeffrey Epstein invited all these people and he had a, a cocktail party at his Manhattan, you know, place and, and there were 200, you know, they're not pedophiles. They're not guilty by association. That's all I'm trying to say, right? So just easy does it with accusing everybody and everything of being a part of the ring, right? It's just not fair. It's not fair. It's like, you're, you're, you know, maybe you, in school you, were on a, you joined the baseball team Right? And some, some, some guy that grows up, goes, grows up to be a serial killer or rapist was on the team. You were playing first base. He was playing second base. You, 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 know, you gave him a piece of gum one day. You, you, you shared a water bottle. Right? And that makes you a pedophile? No, it, it, it just doesn't. Right? So, uh, so let's talk about this one. Um, oh, so Wiener. The Wiener, Anthony Wiener, registered sex offender, Anthony Wiener, Moves back in with Uma Abedin and seven-year-old son. <laughs> Anthony Weiner has been a free man for a few months now, ever since uh, he left the Bronx halfway house. And now, is, now it appears he's moving back in with his wife, uh, Hillary Clinton aide Uma Abedin and seven-year-old son. Very interesting. All right, so where is he? Here he is. Here's the Weiner. Remember the Weiner? <laughs> so he did his time. He, he went to his halfway house in the Bronx. He's rehabilitated, right? He's rehabilitated. He's moving back in with his wife and his kid. He's like, leave me alone already. I did it. I did my time, man. I did my time. Leave me alone. Very interesting because I, I do recall that they were divorced. Divorced. Right? It wasn't 
Didn't Uma Abedin show up in court and try to divorce him? Or well, did did divorce him? So that's that's interesting. It's just it is interesting. I wonder if I, I don't know. Let's see if if uh, Weiner is on the list. Is Anthony Weiner on the list? Let's go down to the W's. Weiner, S, Soros, Specter, Star, S, T. Donald Trump is definitely on the list. No Weiner. V U W Weiner Weiner We no, no Weiner. Where's the Weiner? Wow, no Weiner. That's interesting. There's no according to this list. There's no Weiner on the list. There's no Weiner on Epstein's list. So let's talk about the Jews. The Jews in in Europe. 67 Labor Party members attack Corbyn's anti-Jewish leadership in a newspaper. <laughs> ah, boy. You know, it's so, so they took out so a bunch of super Jews, for lack of a better term, take out this, they're always crying anti-Semitism, right? So they take out this ad, and it's, it doesn't make any accusations of uh, Jeremy Corbyn. It doesn't make any specific allegations of anti-Semitism. It just says, you didn't fight hard enough against anti-Semitism. <laughs> uh, this shit is crazy. So you're damned if you do, damned if you don't with the, uh, with the Jews. After your staff shielded anti-Semitic conduct from the party's discriminatory rules, you said, I do not intervene in the cases. Right? He, they're just, come on, man. Super fucking Jews, right? Relax already, right? Everybody's an anti-Semite. Right? It's, it's just a, it's a very powerful lobby, you know? I mean, you just got to shut these people down, man. They're doing that shit here, too, with the, you know, the anti-BDS bullshit. Right? So, I don't know, just a, just a word. Is, uh, is, is Jeremy Corbyn anti-Semitic? Sem, sem, of course. You know, 100% not. It's just because he's not pushing hard enough for the Jewish agenda. Now he's an anti-Semite. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, so let's talk about Bernie Sanders in finality, the final, the final. So and this is really, really interesting. So Bernie Sanders, right, he's probably not used to being a boss. I, the only time he's, uh, he ever leads, you know, a crowd of people is when he's campaigning, right? So, so he's Mr. $15, uh, $15 minimum wage, Bernie. Bernie fighting for $15 minimum wage. He, he, he did a full-blown... Uh, ad campaign hit piece on McDonald's for not, um, not. I'm a little late to this story too, but I'll, I'll talk about it because there's actually a twist to it. He actually recovered from the mess, but not not really. So he's Bernie Sanders puts out an attack piece, an attack ad, uh, campaign ad, pointing out that McDonald's doesn't pay their people a living wage. So Bernie Sanders actually does pay fifteen dollars. An hour, but there's a big but, right? It's that's if it were for forty hours, that would be one thing, right? But no, he's 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 sucking people in at fifteen dollars an hour, and then he's forcing them to stay sixty hours and not forty, <laughs> right? So you so that's like a bait and switch. And his his um, campaign manager is on record saying that uh, oh no no we're competitive with others. We're competitive with other campaigns that do the same. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. That is the wrong answer. You're Bernie Sanders. You are supposed to be setting a precedence, right? And why 15? Why the minimum wage? Why are you paying? Your people are only worth the minimum. Why not pay them 25? Why not pay them $30 an hour? Why not make them able to, to live comfortably and not have to travel <clears throat> into the sticks I'm sure if, they, if, if all the campaigns are in, in cities, in the center of cities, they're living in the outskirts, they're commuting, right? you're, paying them, you're paying them a starvation wage, right? And then you're, you're exhausting them by piling on more hours. Shame on you, Bernie. Shame on you, Bernie. Right? He also doubled down and said, um, he, he said something else that was really, really offensive in my view, right? He said that the people... Um, he, so he did change. He did. Um, Bernie Sanders says his campaign will limit the hours staffers work, so they are paid an equivalent of fifteen dollars an hour. I'm very proud of 
to be the first presidential campaign to recognize a union and negotiate a contract. Right? Here's, here's, where it, here's where I really disagree with, uh, with Mr. Bernie. Right? He says this. It, it does bother me that people are going outside of the process and going to the media. Ooh, Bernie, you didn't say that, did you? He's, he's, because he's saying that the union is all powerful and you have to negotiate with the union. Shh, don't tell anybody outside what's going on. No, Bernie, that's not how it works, right? Because cause the unions are usually, generally, overall, corrupt. So you take your information to the media and you talk about it, right? I'm, I, it does bother me that people are going outside of the process and going to the media. Fuck that, man. Sorry, Bernie, you're wrong. Sanders added, it is really, it is really not acceptable. It is really not what labor negotiations are about, and it's improper. No, no, sorry, Bernie. Throwing you under the bus, man. That shit is not right. You, if you can't negotiate with your people, they were obviously crying out inside. You've got your campaign manager saying, oh, no, no, we're competitive with everybody else. Competitive with everybody else, right? So, oh, I, I, I got a way to explain this. Check this guy. So somebody sent me this, man. She, you know who he is. This is Dr. John sent me an umbrella to combat, uh, combat the umbrella fights, the, the umbrella, umbrella wars that we're having, right? <laughs> Imagine you show up on a rainy day with this umbrella, man. This fucking rocks, man. I love this shit. <laughs> it's a, so it's a fucking real umbrella, man. It's, just, it's no dope, man. You could you do a fucking spinning spinning fuck you. Ah, the spinning fuck you. Ah, la 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 la. Where she stops, nobody knows. Maybe this way. <laughs> Damn. So I'm gonna be out in the fucking. I'm gonna be out in the. Out in the ring with my, my fuck you umbrella, man. I love this shit. Man. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. John, for sending me a fuck you umbrella. Ah, oh, surprise, prize, prized possession, man. I love that shit. So, uh, oh, you know what? You guys, I, let, me, let me give you a better view of that. I gave you a shit view of it. Hold on a second. Because this is really good, man. I love this shit, man. I fucking love this shit. I love this shit. This is fuck you. <laughs> it's awesome, right? This is an awesome gift, man. This is the best gift I've ever gotten, man. I really, really, really... Hey, you. Hey, you over there. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow, it keeps you warm and it keeps away your fucking enemies, man. I love this shit, man. I'm ready for the next, I'm ready for the next Umbrella War. Ah, Marcus Conte reporting, man. Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>